Hello everyone. You must have encountered different non-surgical problems while doing proximal splitting. The non-surgical problems like where to keep the CM, whether to keep it on the side of the surgery or on the opposite side, where to keep the monitor so that unobstructed view of the shoulder can be taken, how to place the patient on OR table, how to keep the OR table, what should be its position. To help you out and to answer all your queries, I have made this video on pre-surgical setup while doing proximal humerus plating. Just go through the video with surgeon's eye. The first thing is to have the radiolucent part of the OR table at the head end of the patient. In some table, it requires to turn the table 180 degree to achieve this. In some table, if the frame of the table comes in the way of taking images it is advisable to remove that part of the table and to place a radiolucent arm board to achieve the unhindered images of the shoulder second thing is to have the cm from the head end of the patient the third important thing is that the anesthesia trolley will be lying on the opposite side of the patient The fourth thing is to have the arm board over which one or two towel is sticked upon so that the most common deformity of proximal humerus fracture that is apex anterior deformity can be nullified. I do most of my surgery in general anesthesia. So I give certain instruction to my anesthetist friend. The first instruction is to fix the endotracheal tube on the mouth angle that is opposite to the side of surgery. For example, if I am doing surgery on the right shoulder, the endotracheal tube should be fixed on the left side of the mouth. Second thing is to turn the head and neck of the patient towards the opposite side that is if I am doing surgery on the right side the head and neck should be turned towards the left side so that the skull will not come in the way of while taking the cross table image of the shoulder the next important thing is to keep the OR table little bit oblique in a way that the head end of the table should be towards the side of the surgery while the foot end should lie a little bit oblique. Similarly, the patient should also lie obliquely on the OR table in a way that the shoulder on which the surgery is going to be performed should be more toward the surgeon side while the foot end of the patient should lie opposite to it. The monitor should be on the opposite side so that the surgeon can get the unobstructed view of the CM images of the shoulder. To take the cross table lateral view, this is the position of the CM. A surgeon can directly see the cross table lateral image of the shoulder. This is the overall view of the Operation theater where the CM is kept at the head end, anesthesia trolley is on the side of it, and the monitor is on the opposite side. This is the view from the back side. That's all for the video. Let me summarize all the eight points for you. Thank you so much for sparing your patient's time.